the next topic is cystic neoplasm of pancreas okay so the most common cystic lesion of pancreas is pseudocyst and the most common cystic neoplasm of pancreas is mcn that is mucinous cystic neoplasm or mucinous cyst adenoma okay now i'll give you a basic idea what all are the types of cystic neoplasm and some basic points regarding them and then we'll discuss them in detail so the three important cystic neoplasms are serous cyst adenoma mucinous cyst adenoma and ipmn okay so this serous cyst adenoma is more in females this mucinous cyst adenoma is also more common in females in ipmn it is common equal in both male and female okay serous cyst adenoma is seen in head region more and in mucinous cyst adenoma is seen mainly in body and tail region and ipmn is also seen in head and uncinate process okay now serous cyst adenoma is benign mucinous cyst adenoma is pre malignant and ipmn is also pre malignant so that is why for mucinous cyst adenoma as well as ipmn we'll have to go for surgery in serous cyst adenoma if it is asymptomatic small in size we can wait okay mucinous cyst adenoma we know it is most common one now serous cyst adenoma is characterized by small microcystic lesion lesion is having small microcystic uh, you can say small small cyst inside a large lesion okay and there is a central sunburst calcification in mucinous cyst adenoma there are large macrocysts and there is a peripheral axial calcification in ipmn there is either a main branch or a uh, lesion which is involving the main pancreatic duct leading to a pancreatic duct dilatation or lesion involving a side branch leading to a side branch duct dilatation so there will be abdominal pain okay and uh, this way there will be recurrent acute pancreatitis the mpd will be dilated if it is a main pancreatic duct or a, a lesion or a side branch duct in a side branch lesion the side branch will be dilated okay on ercp there will be a dilated patulous opening of the papilla a fish mouth like appearance on ercp and there will be protrusion of mucin through that opening okay now the treatment i have told you serous we will manage conservatively mucinous we will do surgery ipmn we will do surgery majority of the patients in serous will be asymptomatic if some patient will be having symptom then it will be abdominal pain which is the most common symptom in mucinous majority will be symptomatic and there will be abdominal pain and in ipmn there will be recurrent acute pancreatitis okay this is regarding these tumors now i'll show you the diagram 
बिफोर गोइंग फॉर द डायग्राम वट इज द इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफ चॉइस फॉर सीरियस सिस्टेडोमा इट इज सी सी टी एबडामन फॉर म्यूसिनस ऑल्सो देयर इज सी सी टी एबडामन एंड इन आई पी एम एन वी कैन गो फॉर ई आर सी पी एम आर सी पी इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफ चॉइस इज एम आर सी पी एंड गोल्ड स्टैंडर्ड टू कन्फर्म इज ई आर सी पी एंड now suppose if we are aspirating the cyst fluid in pseudo cyst there will be uh, amylase uh, there will be raised amylase and the fluid will be serous or clear what about the mucin mucin will be negative okay in serous cyst adenoma the fluid will be serous the amylase will be low because it is not connected to the duct and mucin will be absent in mucinous cystic noma mucin will be present and amylase will be low cea in the fluid will be high here yeah, cea will be low okay in ipmn there will be raised cea there will be raised amylase and there will be mucin also okay so this is the differences between the different types of cystic neoplasms of pancreas now how this uh, now what is this cystic neoplasm of pancreas so the question is there is a female 50 year having abdominal pain ct done image is displayed the diagnosis is so the correct diagnosis in this case is a serous cystic neoplasm or a serous cyst adenoma okay now what all are the characteristic findings we have already discussed serous cyst adenoma is seen in head region it is seen more in females it is benign disorder and it does not transform into malignancy and uh, there are small microcystic lesions presence of a central stellate calcification which is seen here presence of a central stellate calcification and most of the patients are asymptomatic if symptoms are there majority of the patients will be having abdominal pain which is a vague abdominal pain investigation of choice is cect abdomen and on aspiration there will be low cea low amylase no mucin and there will be serous content okay the management is conservative why because in majority of the patient it is asymptomatic diagnosed incidentally and it is a benign disorder but indications of surgery if the patient is symptomatic if the size is bigger more than 4 cm and if there is presence of a diagnostic dilemma okay then we are going to operate on this patient now similar question a 50 year old female having complaints of abdominal pain diagno and ct was done and there is this lesion which is seen the diagnosis is mucinous cyst adenoma okay so there is a, uh, it is more commonly it is the most common lesion most common cystic neoplasm more in body and tail more common in females 
ओके एंड इट इज प्री मेलिग्नेंट एंड इट ट्रीटमेंट इज सर्जिकल इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफ चॉइस इज सी सी टी एपडोमन वट आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फाइंडिंग्स इट इज मैक्रोसिस्टिक लीजन विद अ पेरीफेरल एक्शल कैल्सिफिकेशन एंड वट इज द मैनेजमेंट मैनेजमेंट आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड मैनेजमेंट इज सर्जिकल एंड on aspiration as it is pre malignant so cea will be raised a myelase will be normal because there is no communication with pancreatic duct and another point is that uh, mucin is present okay now the third is ipmn you can see here that the mpd is massively dilated mpd or the main pancreatic duct is massively dilated there is presence of some uh, thickening inside the pan main pancreatic duct which is visible here marked by this arrow you can see here similarly inside this pancreatic duct you can see here there is presence of some uh, mucin inside the duct mucin present in the duct i'll again tell you the full form it is intraductal papillary mucinous neoplasm so within the duct there is presence of papillary mucin okay so will be there in inside the duct and this mucin will be seen coming out from the papilla on ercp or you can say on side viewing endoscopy when we are doing a side viewing endoscopy we will be able to see that there is a dilated papilla and there is a fish mouth opening and there will be fluid coming outside or the mucin is coming outside okay now important point regarding ipmn is that it is equally seen in male and female generally seen in 6 to 7th decade and it is pre malignant so the treatment is surgical we will have to resect the portion okay and the clinical features is presence of recurrent acute pancreatitis so there will be recurrent attack of acute pancreatitis due to the blockage of the pancreatic duct because of mucin and on aspiration there will be increased mucin or mucin in the duct there will be increased cea and there will be raised amylase as there is communication with the pancreatic duct okay it can be of three types it can be of the main duct type main duct ipmn which involves the main pancreatic duct branch duct ipmn which can involve side branch or combined or mixed ipmn okay and that's it treatment is partial pancreatectomy so this is regarding the uh, the cystic neoplasm